Robin McKee here. I'm doing this video specifically for my friend Jennifer, but also be for anyone who's interested in a really effective, or at least an effective way that I have found for uh, maximizing the day, the list of things that we all have to do, and not feeling overwhelmed. Um, I have a couple of images that I'm going to include in this blog, but I just want to talk to you about the way I've outlined my day and this is a, sort of an amalgamation of several different list time management systems. And this is what I've come up with. Um, this, is what my, this is what my day looks like. Ah! Um, <laughs> but you'll see the top portion is really three main things just on the top of my, my page, the three main, my three main goals that I'm working on. Right now, um, I'm working on, um, don't tell anybody, but I'm trying to do a surprise vacation for my family. Um, I will do, not trying to, but I will at the end of the year have this big celebration for a really, really successful year that we've created this year. So that's one goal. So I've got things working toward that. And I've got a goal, I've got weekly and monthly and 90 day financial goals that I'm very specifically working on. Um, I also have an annual goal, but I'm really focusing down on those smaller goals. So that's a big goal that has specific, visualized, clear numbers attached to it. And then the third thing I'm working on has to do with family encouragement and having people feel like they're all part of a really significantly um, powerful, encouraging unit. Um, so that's, that's got some specific goals. So those are my three things. Yours would be different, of course. And those, you don't those aren't attached necessarily to specific tasks, but they're in my awareness at the top of my page. And I outline them right up here. In the middle of my page, I have a small box over here and a larger box right here. What goes in the small box are five things I do absolutely every day, no matter what. Those are the five things that you must get done so that you are happy, healthy, and you are and the activities that you must do for your goals to be reached. Um, money making activities may be in there. Um, your physical, uh, you know, exercise. Um, maybe there's a specific diet that you're on. Um, my five fall into reading every day, doing yoga every day. I do some visualizations and listen to audios or or videos every day that have put good things into my head. So, and then I actually blog, market, and, um, and broadcast to my list of, of people who are interested in what I have to say every single day. Um, that I count that as one big thing I do every day. So you would have different things, but those happen every day. I don't get down to brush your teeth and all those kinds of things. You know, those are things that you do out of, out of uh, habit. But um, those are, you, those stay static. I write them in every day and I check them off as I get them done every day, but they are the same every single day. Then over here are the things that are changeable every day. My appointments, the fact that I have to go grocery shopping, the fact that I need to clean the house, the fact, you know, different things that I do, what time I pick up my kids from school. So those are changeable, but they're what has to happen today. So this is what I'm working on on a daily basis. All of these things, by definition, support this as I'm outlining them. And if I start to put something in here in the morning or at the night before that doesn't relate to my bigger goals, I might question whether I really want to include that or not. Then what's down here, I break, these are the to do's, not necessarily today, but things I need to get done toward certain goals, which may be up here. And I break it into three columns because I have a home or family or personal, you know, personal needs column. I have a column for one of my businesses, which is a traditional business, and I have a column for my online business. So uh, these are things that I could get done today if I find time to do them, um, but I don't have to. These are things that I might jot down during the day to remember to get them done sometime down the road or someone I need to touch base with. And also, this is where I, what I look to when I'm beginning to fill in my to-do list for any given day from one list or one day to the next day. So I hope that's clear. That's how I do my list. I do it every day. I find it works better if I do my list at night and then I wake up to the list in the morning. Um, but certainly that doesn't always happen. Sometimes in the morning I get up and not quite the first thing. The first things I do in the morning um, have to do with um, my, my, my time, you know, visualization, some, some reading of some special things that I am taking a look at 
um, and then I get to my list. But I do try and do this before I really get into the day, making breakfast and getting the kids off to school and all of that. So that's that. Um, if you have questions, you can add them into the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. And I uh, hope you have a great day and have a great time making your list and just sort of doing just what's in front of you to do and not worrying about all the things that aren't on your list because they'll be down here somewhere. Okay, take care. Thanks. Bye.